my girlfriend, she's so cute, and she's got these roommates, and they just they just decorated their house like so cute. Uh, they like to collage, so they got like collages everywhere, and they got this one collage. They got this idea. It's kind of weird, but they found like pictures in a magazine of girls, like models, that have sort of the same hair as all of them. They put them up and they put their names under each model. So every time they come home, they're like, that's me. The hair, the hair is the same. I cannot just like get some poster of an Abercrombie model like up on my wall, like, that's me. No, the hair, it's the hair. The hair's the same. Well, I, want, I wanted to get in on this because I just thought it was like a really positive boost, you know, to one's self-esteem. So I found, I found this poster. Um, it's from the 1968 Olympics. It's those two black dudes that are just on the podium like this. I wrote my name and my roommate's name and me. Every time I come home, I'm like, that is me. That is me. Of course, of course, I put me on the first place platform. My roommate's on the third place platform. Uh, yeah, I always kind of wondered, uh, like, when that picture was taken, like, what was the little white guy in the middle thinking? Like, he's probably some, like, Swedish runner, like, oh, yeah, second place, second place. What are, what are they doing? <laughs> Me too? No? Okay. <laughs> People with Swedish accents, or, or really any accent, I don't know how they kind of like talk sexy to each other. Because, because a girl with like an American English accent, pretty much all she has to do is whisper something in my ear, and I'll think it's hot. Like anything, like, you're in my seat, can you move over? Like, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm in love. But I mean, some Swedish girls can be like, do you want to see me naked? <laughs> no! No! <laughs> but, uh, a couple summers ago, I actually went to Europe, and I learned a very interesting fact. In Europe, the country names, they're not what we think they are. Okay? Did you know that? I went to Italy, they don't call it Italy, they call it Italia. I went to Spain, they don't call it Spain, it's Espana. Probably I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> but I could see how that happened because the first guy from like England, the first English speaker, he went to that country and then he got back from his vacation. His friends were like, where'd you go? He's like, well, I, I went to this country called Italia. And then it sort of got passed through the grapevine and his friends were like, oh yeah, George went to Italia. Italy, 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 he went to Italy. And then Spain, the guy's like, yeah, oh, well, he went to Spain, 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 Spain. Spain, Spain. Right? <laughs> but Germany is called Deutschland. <laughs> but the first guy that went there, he just got back and forgot what it was called. <laughs> His friends were like, where did you go? And he's like, ah, it was, just, it was dirty. Like, there was a lot of germs, many ge Germany, Germany. It was Germany. <laughs> but you guys gotta realize, like, African countries? We have no idea what African countries are called. There's a country in Africa called Chad. No, there isn't. Okay? You know the name of that country is probably like... But the first English-speaking dude that went there, his name was Chad. When he got back, they're like, where'd you go? And he's like, well, they really like me. That's the name of the country after me. It's called Chad. That country is Chad, and I'm the king. speakers in Europe are weird. English people have all kinds of weird phrases. Like in America, what do we say? What do we say when we want to be patriotic? God bless America. You know what they say in England? God save the queen. Is the queen like kidnapped? What's wrong with the queen? I mean, I know her family's messed up, but like she lives in a palace. Save her from what? Old age? I think she's okay. But, uh, I, Americans, we, we have our own little quirks with the way we pronounce stuff too. And I know this because uh, I used to work. I used to work in a coffee shop, and uh, 
we used to have this little old lady that used to come in, and, and I know that coffee drink names are all Italian, but I think we're all pretty much familiar with coffee drink names where we can say it correctly at this point. But this little old woman, every day she would come in, she'd, can I get a chai latte? A chai latte? <laughs> and then on the other end of the spectrum, I'd have this lady that would come in, she thought she was all cultured, so she'd try to order like an authentic Italian, like, uh, yes, can I have an espresso? <laughs> what? Like, come on. Like, yeah, there's like a range of ways you can say it. Like, don't say it the dumb way. Like, can I get an espresso? But like, don't, you're not Italian. Don't say it espresso. Like, the worst, the worst way that we can see that is like Mexican food restaurants. And my dad is the worst. Like, not even a Mexican food restaurant. He'll be at, like Taco Bell. Like, uh, well, uh, starting off with Pepsi. Yeah, you guys have a Valley Mills that come with a toy? All right, well, I think I'd like to get a uh, pita. And, uh, take it off with a pita. And, uh, that's a burrito. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I, uh, my girlfriend and I went bowling the other day, and uh, she beat me at bowling, which I'm cool with, I'm fine with. Really what I like about bowling is the whole experience, because everybody's like at their lane, it's just a bunch of different groups of friends, and I just love the people watch at a bowling alley, because you really can see that like every group, you can see like the group dynamic at each one, you can tell like who is that guy in each group. Like, is it true that every time in your whole life you've gone bowling with a group, there's always one person that shows up with their own ball, bag, shoes, wrist guards, band-aids, like, who is this guy? It's always like an uber competitive guy, like you had no idea, like, let's go bowling. He's like, all right, let me just... He's like all about like someone will sit down and like start programming the thing like I'm gonna call you stinky and you're gonna have like butt face ha ha and you're serious about it like, get out of the chair get out come on I'll program it I'll program it and he's all he's all he's always that guy that's like really into bowling etiquette too like he'll get up on the lane like he's got to use a little blower he gets his ball gets up like sets up really. And then like someone will come up on the lane next to him and he's like, oh, you wait, you wait until I bowl. That's a bowling etiquette. <laughs> but in the same group, there's always like that girl that has no desire to be there whatsoever. She's just like, uh, it's my turn to bowl. Uh, do you want to take my turn? No, just bowl, just bowl. So he picks up the ball. Uh, uh, uh. Rolls it down the aisle and it goes like two inches before it's in the gutter. And it takes another three days. It's like me, like how I bowl, which is I'm not good, but I want to save face. So it's like trying to take it seriously, but almost every time going in bowling and knocking down three pins. And then this is like the most honest moment you'll ever see on a human being's face when they turn around after bowling like that. They're just like. frame where like, I will get like maybe one or two frames where I get a spare or a strike and after that I'm the fucking king of the world just <laughs> I knew I could do it. <laughs>